Um, what I have here set up is actually a speed agility ladder. Uh, you can purchase these through any plyometrics or any type of training session videos. If you don't happen to have it, your coach on a budget, you can do a two by one and a half inch squares all the way through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine squares or ten to be even. Um, the agility ladder is the best type of apparatus for these exercises that we're doing because the agility ladder will actually show mistakes. The agility ladder will show any type of access movement, any type of movement that we do not want to teach the athlete. Um, if you're using tape and things of that matter, the athlete can still make mistakes, but it's not that much visible to the coach. So the first exercise that we'll go to is the two-step high knee. Um, the two-step means that there's two feet in each box and allows the athlete to raise the high knee into an area, into a controlled area of the box, all the way through the ladder. Notice how Leggy is moving his arms a little back forward. You definitely want to create a lot more backward mobility, allow the athlete to bring the knees up into a high position. Notice that his arms are moving a lot quicker to allow for the hands to come all the way through and actually do the work. The faster your hands move, the faster your feet move, so in turn creates a faster agility work for the athlete and allows the athlete to get a little bit more work all the way through. So the faster the motion of the hands, the faster the motion of the athlete. So as the athlete will in turn go through the exercise, the athlete will step through moving the arm in the same running motion that they would do in a form run. So now when the athlete steps into the box, steps out, lifts the leg, transfers over, they're two feet in each box, coming all the way through and all the way back. Now that allows the athlete to give a lot more pressure to the arms and a lot more speed. So as the athlete rotates the body forward and in, the motion of the feet follow with the hands. So the faster that the athlete moves his hands, the faster the, the feet will move. So as the athlete goes through the motions and actually creates that backward mobility, the backward mobility will now allow the legs to come up and come all the way through and then focus the arms and the explosion. With these exercises, a lot of technique is used. You definitely want to have a lot of technique and a lot of form. The better your technique and the better your form, the better your athlete's performance. So the more, the more technique that you're using as far as getting the backward mobility and raising the knees up, the better your athlete will perform. So there you go. You can actually see Lengi's form from the front and the back. You can see that he's repping his feet in each box, getting the form of his arms coming all the way through, and bringing his legs up to hip level. This is that running form, that fast motion, the quickness of his arms and the quickness of his legs coming all the way through. Notice his body position is not too far forward. So he's not falling too far back or falling too far forward. His back is at a nice comfortable position, nice comfortable level. And the speed of his hands and his feet are in sync. 